Hi friends, today I am going to review the book, Demystifying Talent Management. Unleash People's Potential to Deliver Superior Results. Written by Kimberly Jansen. Quality Employees. All organizations rely on their employees' talents, capabilities and expertise. Smart organizations develop employees to realize their full potential. The more expert and talented employees are, the more productive they will be, and the better off their company will be. The Talent Management Office should target professional development and performance management. It recruits employees, establishes compensation, manages work, and develops talents and skills. Human resources staffers must also replace people who leave and fill the positions of those moving up. The idea of unleashing people's potential by giving them good input and stretching them to new levels is heady stuff. Many organizations fail at talent management due to a lack of skill or lack of will. A deficiency of will is evident when HR professionals and managers fail to help employees improve and develop. Some managers don't develop their employees because they lack confidence in their own professional development skills. Fortunately, HR managers can obtain effective training about how to conduct development activities. Strong HR. In most organizations, employees do not get what they need from their HR offices. The reason is simple. Most HR departments underperform. Contrast that usually dismal record with capable HR units that truly serve their firm's employees, such as the HR department at the Bank of America. There, insiders say, Finance runs the bank and HR runs finance. Good coaching and feedback skills are the biggest differentiators of great leaders, and high performers in general. Quality HR departments and HR professionals dedicate themselves to talent management. They know that untapped employee capability is an important asset to develop. Many workers believe they can do more than their organizations expect of them. Look for untapped potential as you work through the steps of performance management. Setting direction, giving input, and providing coaching, feedback and a year-end review. When people are treated poorly at work and don't feel good about themselves, they go home to their families and children spreading their unhappiness. Consider coaching to help staffers rise to new heights of performance and loyalty. Productive feedback. Giving employees a message or sharing your reaction to their work emerges from who you are, not just from what you do. Besides providing superior coaching and feedback, HR professionals must understand how to acquire quality talent. Hire the highest caliber people your budget allows and develop them. Smart managers create positive workplace environments that motivate employees. Professional development and a competitive salary are good motivators as well. Stakeholders and HR. The way organizations manage and develop staff members constitutes their talent management practices. Different stakeholders evaluate these practices through their own lenses. 1. CEO and senior executives. Many evaluate talent management only by cost and return on investment. 2. They'll ask HR, do we really need to do it? 3. What's the least amount of time and attention we can afford and still make it worth our effort? 4. The HR executives should present a solid business case showing why talent management makes fiscal sense. 5. Managers. Even if they recognize talent management's importance, most managers are not adept at it. 6. Either they don't try to manage their staff members or they do so half-heartedly. 7. HR professionals. Most organizations do not give their HR departments the funding they need to perform quality talent management. 8. These units end up operating in firefighting mode, always dealing with short-term challenges instead of long-term solutions. 9. Employees. Worker-specific experiences with talent management initiatives governs whether they see this effort as worthwhile or wasted. Managing performance. Effective managers engage in five important conversations with employees. The what you need to do conversation. In this conversation, present the employee with his or her performance goals. This discussion should unfold the majority of your talent management work. Explain the employee's specific work responsibilities and performance objectives. Provide context by describing how this work relates to the organization's goals. Lay out detailed individual performance goals for each employee. 
Follow these tips to set useful objectives. 1. Tie employees' performance goals directly to your firm's strategic objectives. 2. Set SMART goals. Specific, measurable, agreed upon, realistic and time-based. 3. Choose the right measurements and keep them simple. 4. Set goals that please your customers and that are within your supplier's capabilities. 5. Give employees incentives to achieve their goals. 5. Specify negative consequences for not attaining goals. 6. Be flexible about the goals you set. 6. Be ready to change them if necessary. 7. Publicize all performance goals. The, how you are doing, conversation. Just setting performance goals isn't enough. You must monitor how your employees perform while trying to reach their targets. This calls for a, performance check in conversation. Some companies hold these conversations quarterly, some, twice a year. Let these tips guide your conversations. 1. Check-in conversations should concern the what and the how, focus not only on your employees' actual work, but also on how they handle themselves. 2. Take responsibility for clarity, communicate your point of view, explain it clearly and help your employees make any necessary adjustments. 3. Describe sound performance clearly, employees can't achieve their goals if you don't define and explain them. 4. Let your employees ponder and raise queries, help employees self-manage. 4. To do so, they must reflect and consider their choices. 4. Help by asking open-ended questions, such as, what do you think about? Or, help me understand your thinking. 5. Stay approachable. Being cold or curt gives employees the unmistakable signal they don't matter to you. 6. Always have another plan. Things seldom work out as you originally intended. 6. Help your staff members develop fallback plans. 7. Keep track. Keep an eye on and note employee results. 8. No shocks. Don't alarm or startle employees. 8. Be sure they know to expect a productive conversation. The, how you did, conversation. If the first two conversations went well, an employee performance review discussion should be easy. Follow these procedures. 1. Set the agenda. Human resources should let employees know where and when the conversation will take place and what topics it will cover. 2. Ask crucial questions. Did you deliver on the commitments you made? Also ask, did you do less? And, did you do more? 3. Stick to the facts, personal opinions, positive or negative, muddy the waters. The, money conversation. Discussions of pay logically follow the previous conversations. Use incentives intelligently to obtain the results your organization needs from staff members. In most cases, compensation will prove not to be the prevailing issue, but employees do want to feel that their compensation is equitable. Keep these fundamentals in mind. 1. Determine your formal compensation philosophy. Understand what degree of competitiveness your company wants to achieve within its industry. 2. Employees expect fair compensation, base specific salaries on reliable industry standards for equivalent positions. 3. Compensation means more than just salary, perks, vacations, scheduled promotions, new responsibilities and even specific offices are important. The, how you need to grow, conversation. Your workforce's professional development is a, strategic business imperative. To choose where to focus your development efforts, always ask these questions about each staff member. 1. Evaluate strengths. Where does this person show the greatest strengths? 2. Development tactics. How should his or her manager encourage this employee? 3. Office opinion. What do people say behind a worker's back that he or she should know? Inside professional development. Your professional development initiatives help employees improve their strengths and shore up their weaknesses. For talent development to be productive, managers and HR professionals must devote themselves to their employees. Set up programs and incentives for employees to read the appropriate books and articles. This helps them remain current, develop professionally and expand their specialized knowledge base. When faced with talent management activities, managers often don't do them, or do them at a superficial level, all the while experiencing a high level of anxiety. 
help your staff members improve by assigning them to handle special projects and temporary assignments that develop new skills. Professional development options include online learning, certification programs, journaling and specialized training. For career planning and development. 1. Employees own the career planning process, not managers. 2. Some employees mistakenly think they don't need to improve. 2. If this is their mindset, you can't do much to change it. 3. Managers and HR professionals must explain that training has no guarantees. 4. For work teams, the more heterogeneity, the better the results. Be sure that what you're outlining for performance expectations is what your customer wants. Succession planning. Managers and HR professionals must look ahead, anticipate personnel loss at the top and embrace succession planning. This positions their firms to meet future strategic challenges. Profile the executives your company needs to execute its future ambitions. Some of the tools available for succession planning include 1. Strategic frameworks, these single-page summaries present your organization's main goals. 2. Placemats, these one-page summaries profile your firm's leaders. 3. Stack ranks, these detail the people on your organizational chart, from the most to the least important. 4. High Potentials Development Plans, this presents a catalog of upcoming career move possibilities for employees who have the potential to advance. 5. Functional Scorecards, these grade the organization's different functions. 6. Top Talent Profiles, these describe your most valuable employees. Happy Employees. Many firms fail to communicate important goals and strategic direction to employees, leaving them unclear about what their companies need them to do. Poor communication creates confused and frustrated employees. And, when companies don't treat their employees well, workers take out their feelings and frustrations on their families and friends. Very rarely does life go according to plan. For the important things, you should have a backup plan. Teach employees what the company expects of them. Help your staff members grow by offering coaching and feedback. Hold managers and HR professionals responsible for employee growth. Take a ways. 1. Talent management includes performance management and employee development. 2. Coaching and feedback build employee capabilities. 3. Performance management means setting clear expectations. 4. Most employees want professional development, but most managers don't know how to provide it. 5. Have these five conversations with your employees. Ask, what you need to do, to set targeted objectives aligned with company strategy. 6. Ask, how you are doing, to track employees' progress toward those goals. 7. Ask how your employees did in trying to reach their goals, so you can appraise their results. 8. Have, the money conversation, to determine compensation and incentives. 9. Ask how the person needs to grow. Then, establish development activities. 10. Succession planning means identifying high potential employees, building their capabilities and advancing them when you can. Like, share and subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with our latest videos and content. I hope these suggestions help you out. Let me know if you have any other questions.